We got the verse of the vice. You should should stand up and I should shut up. <laughs> so what what is your happiest moment in wrestling? My happiest moment in wrestling was walking out in front of those people at the North Charleston Coliseum, coming out to We Are the Champions by Queen. And addressing all those people and calling them a bunch of stupid morons <laughs> and telling them that the Stingrays were a bunch of figure skaters and they were losers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, being in front of that crowd. that and, and it was so early in my career too. And it was like, man, how can I ever get back to that moment? Because <laughs> you know? you're always searching for that. You know, it, 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 Wrestling can be like a drug sometimes. You want that high. Mm-hmm. And um I just remember looking around and I was like, man, a lot of people stayed for this, you know, because mm-hmm. it was set up right after a Stingrays game. Ric Flair had actually done autographs that night. And um, so we're there and it's like all these people and they're just beating on the glass, like a bunch of drunk hockey fans. And and I was like, I had Mike Nova and Mack Truck with me and we were the tag champs for that promotion. And, uh, and I just said, yeah, I said, I figured you, you know, you people, since you stayed for you know stayed to watch the wrestling, figure you'd like to see what a real couple of real champions look like. <laughs> it's like you know, oh, when's the last time y'all won the Kelly Cup? Nineteen ninety five. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I said Mack Truck was beating up you know blah blah blah. You know, it's just it's just stuff like that. And uh, one guy is like, he looks like he's like hanging over the railing. He's got like half full beer. And I was like, hey, I thought they cut you off after the third period or something uh. like that. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I can't even tell what he's uh, what he's saying to me. And I'm like, yeah, have another and then drive home, you jerk. Uh. <laughs> so, oh gosh. And that had got uh, that had got on TV or at least like local access or something like that. And then uh, I remember the next day, my mother called. And um, she goes, did you do something at the Coliseum last night? And I said, yeah, we had a wrestling thing there. She goes, I must have 25 phone calls today asking what you were doing there. <laughs> I was like, Thanks I was for like the well, I was like, you know, you don't talk. My mother never liked me wrestling. So you don't talk much about my wrestling career. So if people see me, they're going to wonder, wonder what I'm doing, I guess. It's like, yeah, my phone is blowing up all mornings. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like. Price of fame. <laughs> it's all legal. They didn't, they didn't have my number, so they couldn't blow my phone up. <laughs> so, gotta keep that stuff on the D and DL. 